subscribe and press this bell icon to never miss another lecture video power 80 or e to the power minus 80 a real exponential this is your real exponential this is your j 80 this is your complex exponential signal but complex exponential signal must contain a, a like um your frequency component so this is a complex ex exponential signal as you you have a, a j here it's a very simple thing why i'm boring you okay real exponential signal look here carefully look here carefully first thing first look here if you have a f of t this is one example okay if you have a f of t yahan se aapko bade acche se dekhna hai do not skip a single second of time L listen to this carefully if you have a f of t the fourier transform of this f of t is e, uh, uh, if you have a f of t which is given as e to the power minus 80 ut the fourier transform of this function is nothing but you just need to write down this f of t and you just need to multiply e to the power minus j omega t with this f of t right now if you do so you will get 1 by a plus j omega that means what that means the fourier transform of this f of t the fourier transform of this f of t is nothing but 1 by a plus j omega clear so uh, isko factorize karoge to if you do factorize this in a proper way like is pe upar a minus j omega and here a minus j omega multiply karke if you do the factorization then at the end you will going to get this kind of function so that we can extract the real component and we can extract the complex component or imaginary component now listen to this carefully yahan se aapka padhai start hota hai yahan se gate ka level start hota hai real component uh, a by a square plus omega square and imaginary component is nothing but minus omega by a square plus omega square so what you can see here uh, the real component and this imaginary component look here carefully f of j omega is given as 1 by a plus j omega right we know if you have f of omega okay if you put f of minus omega and in the answer if it is giving f of omega if you put f of minus omega and in the answer if it is giving minus f of omega this will be regarded as even function and this will be regarded as odd function also in the subject of even and odd signals we have also studied even conjugate and odd conjugate functions if you have a f star f of minus omega f star f of minus omega if it is giving you f of omega and f of mi minus of f of omega then this will be regarded as even conjugate and this will be regarded as your odd conjugate clear we know this concept now i want you to test it out i want you to test it out that your f of omega that you got here f of omega or f of j omega anything that you can say i'm again repeating f of omega or also you can write it down f of omega or f of j omega anything that you can write down so okay i'm taking here f of j omega i'm writing her f of j omega j omega do you care carefully okay let me write on f of omega only no okay your f of omega is if you test out if you test out this this f omega f of omega is actually satisfying this analysis hence your this um i'm sorry here here your this function this function this f of omega is your even conjugate okay this is your even conjugate or conjugate symmetry you can say this is not an odd conjugate this is an even conjugate now yahan se concept start hota hai bade acche se aapko dhyan se sunna hai listen to this carefully if you have a even conjugate thing right now you take the mod of that f of omega you'll get 1 by a square plus omega square and as we all know the magnitude spectrum the magnitude spectrum is symmetric the magnitude spectrum in fourier transform if you do the fourier analysis the magnitude spectrum is symmetric and as you are doing the fourier transform analysis so this entire thing will come out to be continuous agar aap fourier series karte ye discrete nikalta and this is your magnitude spectrum similarly your uh, frequency uh, i'm sorry your uh, 
uh, phage spectrum is anti-symmetric as you can see f of omega is minus tan inverse omega by a it is anti-symmetric you can see here from this graph and it is continuous and yes this is your phase spectrum okay this is how you need to remember it and your f of t is here in the final way you can say in this way when the, as this is your real value your magnitude spectrum is even symmetric and your you can say here it's symmetric and this is your anti-symmetric or odd symmetric or anything you can say that you, this is a normal thing we all know this thing okay we have been continuously discussing this thing from the four year series even when whenever you are doing a four year series or four year expansion whether it is a series or transform the uh, in continuous time domain uh, the in frequency time domain the magnitude spectrum is always come out to be even uh, symmetric about y axis and uh, in uh, phase spectrum it always come out to be a anti symmetric way uh, that is anti symmetric towards your y axis we know this concept we have been continuously discussing this concept from uh, four year series okay second uh, kind of question look here carefully e to the power 80 into u minus 80 as it is e to the power 80 uh, uh, real exponential which is got multiplied with u of minus t u of minus t now i need to find out f of j omega here the fourier transform of this function very important very beautiful concept look here carefully so the first way to solve this question to take this f of t and do multiply it with e to the power e to the power minus j omega t dt and take the integration this is how you need to find out the Fourier transform this is your normal formula this is how you need to find it out now my dear friend I need to before getting into the further analysis I want you to know this thing whatever the properties that I explained to you in the last video lectures I think I want you to remember each and every property like anything of signal system ka kuch revise karna hai to pehle aapko property revise karna hai this properties are extremely important for all kind of questions all kind of exams okay now I'm going to if you know the property I am going to solve this question in one line okay look here carefully put the time reversal property okay what is the time reversal property says if your f of t the Fourier transform f of t is f of omega f of minus t ka Fourier transform kitna ho jayega f of minus omega that's what your time reversal property says you can check that now here if your f of t now here if your f of t is e to the power minus a t u t then its Fourier transform is f of omega which is 1 by a plus j omega that is what is our first question is but here f of minus t it converted to f of minus t look here look here it is converted to f of minus t f of minus t f of minus t yes or no so that is e to the power a t u of minus t yes or no this is the question here here in this this example so the Fourier transform of this subsequent is 1 by a minus j omega clear this concept because the property says the time reversal property says f of minus t is nothing but f of minus omega now you can make a note here you can make a note here if f of t is a real valued if your f of t f of t is here that is e to the power minus a t u t okay if your f of t is real valued if your f of t is real valued if your f of t is real valued then 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 look here carefully if your f of t is real valued then f of minus t is nothing but nothing but f star omega you can see here conjugate of if agar aapka f of t real valued hai if your f of t is real valued this is my real valued this is my real valued you can see your real valued hai if it is real valued i think a properties mein maine bola tha aapko then the f of minus t will be conjugate conjugate of this 
प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस राइट इट डाउन इन योर नोट इन योर लैंग्वेज ओके दिस इज आवर फर्स्ट नोट पॉइंट ओके विल मूव टू द सेकेंड नोट पॉइंट